So I've had the X100V for a few weeks now and I've already been using it to document holidays and all that kind of stuff, family life, but I wanted to see how it would perform taking some portraits. I grabbed my buddy Ian for this shoot, who I think you'll agree looks a bit like a mixture between Russell Brand, Johnny Depp and Jesus maybe? But he helped me out and we headed over to the old Stanbridge Mill again because it's just a great little location for shooting. There's quite a few little nice settings over here, one of which being this bridge, which always gives some nice leading lines to the subject. I'll give you all my camera settings in more detail at the end of the video, but in general, I was pretty much at F2 all the time. I started in aperture priority but where the sky was quite bright in a lot of these shots I actually ended up just shooting in manual because I wanted to sort of take control a little bit more. Ian was wearing some pretty cool sunglasses so I just sort of decided to experiment with these a little bit and almost try and use them like a bit of a filter. Again I really enjoyed using these leading lines as such you know of of this bridge here, which I just think made for some nice compositions. I started to just kind of experiment with different hand position in here just to, you know, just give myself a bit of a different range of images. On this next shot, I just tried framing Ian at the bottom of the frame, which I'm not entirely sure if it worked to be honest. I love these steps because they kind of just look like a staircase to nowhere. I just used them as kind of like a bit of a platform to put Ian on I guess and then I got in a little bit closer and tried just sort of shooting up towards him a little bit more for I guess some kind of more minimal portraits like you're just about to see. For those of you in the UK, you might actually recognise Ian from Channel 4's The Undateables, which he was on a few years back. And he's also a very talented photographer. He's kind of known out there as the blind photographer because he suffers with a condition called Usher Syndrome. So he's basically got tunnel vision, but he's an incredible photographer. Go and check him out, look him up on YouTube. Just Google his name. You'll find plenty of articles out there. He's been doing photographs for like the Olympics and all that kind of stuff. Very talented guy. If you're wondering where this random chair came from, no, we didn't find it over there. I actually bought it from a charity shop for a pound because I thought it'd make just for a cool prop for some shoots and also for at home in my garage for doing some studio portraits. This area looks pretty surreal. Where it's all tiled on the floor is actually where the canteen for the mill used to be. I didn't get any b-roll for these last few shots but these were taken just basically as we were leaving and I was just using these gates here to kind of sub-frame Ian a little bit. Okay so camera settings, as I mentioned earlier I was at f2, I was at ISO 160, I didn't really need to go any higher than that because we had plenty of light and then my shutter speed was generally set to around 2500 of a second although I just tweaked this slightly up or down just to get my final exposure. With regards to editing, there's a few ways I could have gone with these. Here's the original. I was kind of going to use either this Seaside one, Fuji, Lomo, or my Subway preset, but I landed on the moody green one in the end, which I just thought worked best personally. I'll leave a link to the presets down in the description. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. You know, I never really bought this camera as like an out and out portrait camera. I've just bought it more to kind of document day to day life, a bit of street photography, that kind of stuff. But you know, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. How do you think it did? Please do let me know down in the comments. I hope to make plenty more videos based around this camera. So if that's something you're interested in, please do think about liking and subscribing, leaving a comment, all that usual shit, you know, it really helps. Um, and I will see you again in the next one. Cheers. There's a few more videos you might be interested in here. Top left is my first couple of days with the camera. Top right, I go into a bit more detail on how I set my camera up to shoot manually with portrait shoots like this. And the other two are a couple of street shoots.